Alright, what up guys? We're back at it with some Fable Anniversary Redux mod. And in the last video, we just got done doing the prologue, the intro, the guild training, whatever. Pretty much time to like jump into it, jump into it. I think I want to try to just hop into Wasp Menace and see how I do. I don't think it's going to be too challenging. Wasp Menace is pretty easy after all, but who knows? That Wasp Queen is supposed to be uh, more resistant to ranged attacks, so that might get interesting, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hurry! God, man, I just watched the, the Fable 4 trailer, and God, going back to, like, Fable 1 after watching the Fable 4 trailer, it's like, yeah, no, that, the humor ain't there, the whimsical, like, style of the game is just not there. Not all that hopeful for Fable 4 at this point after seeing the, uh, the new teaser trailer or whatever. Instead of hurry, we get, oh, oh yes, I'd like to grow my vegetables and my, my, uh, my fruits and, uh, the harvest and... I'm a giant. This is Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Like, I don't know, man. That's not what this video is about. I don't want to, like, spend this whole video ranting about the Fable 4 trailer. But, like, yeah, I don't know about this new Fable game. I really don't. I'm still, like, really... Con there are so many people who keep trying to say that it's going to be a reboot. Like, oh, well, this is going to be a reboot. And blah, blah, blah. This is obviously a reboot. Like, bro, what what the fuck about it is obviously a reboot? How is it obviously a reboot? Like, how is, how is Jack and the Giant Beanstalk obviously a reboot of literally any of the Fable games. Like, it's definitely not a reboot of Fable 1, because, you know, there was no Jack and the Giant Beanstalk in Fable fucking 1. Uh, yeah, definitely not a reboot of Fable 1, but it's not a reboot of, like, 2 or 3 either. It's, like, not a reboot of anything. Oh my god. He really just dodged my arrow? How did that even happen? Real question, can I just hit him with my sword? I know, like, sometimes you can hit him with a normal sword. I don't know if you need the, uh... Oh, you can't... Oh, fuck the ranged attacks, bro. Just do this. What are you doing, bro? Why are you taking your sweet time using your bow? You could just do that. Well, to be fair, it is an obsidian sword, so, you know, it probably has a lot to do with it. Honestly, I don't even really know why I thought Wasp Queen was about to be this, like, super difficult quest. Like, it's it's still just Wasp Queen, you know, like, or Wasp Menace, whatever. The real question is, where are all these silver keys going to be, you know what I mean? First things first, I want to go all the way to Oakvale, because I have a feeling I'm going to need to do a bit of grinding anyway. But aside from doing, like, grinding and whatnot, I just kind of want to see... How, how difficult things are really going to actually be. You know what I mean? Wait, did it automatically switch to daytime since it's my first time here? That's kind of neat. Hello? Alright, I guess I'm going to rest. And maybe he'll show up. I really hope this shopkeeper comes back. Bro, like, could you imagine? Watch this guy, like, straight up deleted the shopkeeper. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Not going to lie, it wouldn't surprise me for some reason. Like, oh, we decided the Bowerstone South shopkeeper didn't need to be there. Nobody ever uses him, right? We got all these now. We can just... Pop that bad boy open. Bow! Wow! That was some money there, wasn't it? We're flipping burgers now. Goodness gracious, golly gee. So we should be set on money now. We should probably be set on, like, experience, too. Buy a few of these, why not? Oh, that's right. It doesn't show your experience for some reason, but I should have gotten some. Yeah, anniversary fails to show you your uh, guile experience when you trade. But I am pretty sure you do actually get some. I'm thinking we might just start with, like, leather, you know? Let's go bright leather, actually. Let's do a good build for once. I never do a good build. Let's see if we can stick to the good build, though. That's, that's the real thing. I think, like, weapon-wise, we should be, like, pretty damn good right now. I actually kind of like the original leather outfit. Like, if I had to choose between the, like, the normal leather and the leather armor outfit, I'd honestly choose the normal leather outfit. When in Rome. Yeah, I think I did get some guile experience, it looks like. Oh, wow, we can actually afford one of these, too. Might as well. I think for now, that should be fine. All right, let's do this. Let's go to Oakvale. See just how challenging this ends up being. Hopefully I can find one of them health elixirs along the way, but you know, this guy moved everything around, so who even knows if I can do that? Honestly, I, I wonder how much stuff is actually going to be in the same spot and how much of it has actually changed. Like, I want, like, I can't remember if the silver key was normally in that chest over there or not, but I do wonder if the other silver keys are going to be in their same spots or not. And if, you know, maybe he just moved, like, the super obvious stuff, you know, just because he felt like it was... Oh, it's too easy to get a silver key like that. I don't know. Seemed like an odd decision to make. It seemed very intentional that the first silver key is, like, right there. It's, I, I'm pretty sure the whole idea is that it, like, immediately introduces you to silver keys in, like, the easiest way. It's like, because if you don't know that you're looking for it, you don't know to look for it. So, they put this one silver key in, like, the most obvious spots. You go, like, oh, what's this? Oh, a silver key? And then the game tells you about it. It's like, oh, these are hidden all across Albion. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Some weird decision making in this mod, but for the most part, it's cool. Actually, I might as well just pop into the orchard farm, huh? Yeah, I don't really know why they block it off the other way. It seems kind of arbitrary, but you know, whatever.
Damn. I reeled hell of that first time. There it is! I think I am going to hold off on using it, though, just so I can uh, take it over to Barrowstone North. Luckily, I've got, like, 400 health potions, so I, like, can honestly legitimately just drip feed myself. Damn, what is this? Like, a fucking JRPG or something? Or, like, a KRPG? It's the Korean ones, I think, right? The Korean ones where it's just, like, a thousand enemies on screen. Rip the swine's arms off. I literally just ripped your head off. I don't know how you said that. <laughs> Wait, did I just pick up a resurrect? There are resurrection files. What? So it's just that the stores don't sell them or something? Is that what the difference is now? Gotta kill these guys first or they'll run away when I kill the boss man. You know what I might do? I might actually like waste an augment on this thing for once. Bandit wave. Oh, bandit wave. The, uh, the emoticon. Oh my God. This guy kind of hits. Oh my god, but he doesn't quit. I actually gotta, like, utilize... Oh shit, blocking and stuff in this game. Oh my god, brother. Not even that serious, bro. Yeah, this fight is just annoying. This guy blocks every fucking hit. Like, sometimes they glitch out and they're like, Oh, we're gonna hit ten times in a row right now. See, like, what the fuck? Like, normally the dude will hit, like, once or twice. But then he'll just, like, pop, 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 randomly. And just, like, hit you a million fucking times in a row. It's crazy. How much fucking actual health do you have? What the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, it was actually, like, kind of maddening. That was like fighting goddamn Twin Blade, bro. Like, that's that's how difficult that was. Somewhere around here is a flame augmentation. You know, maybe they took the flame augmentation out. I guess there's no longer a flame augmentation here. So apparently those guys do more damage now or something. The ranged hobs, the magic hobs. The real question is, what am I about to get here? It's an old shoe. Or a worn boot, is that what it was? I swear to God, the first fable, like, I might just be thinking about, like, Animal Crossing, and I just, like, somehow got the wires crossed there. But, like, I was pretty sure you could, like, fish for, like, an old boot or whatever in the original version of the game. I seem to, like, distinctly remember being, like, confused as to how you equip the boot, and then realizing, like, oh, wait, this is just, like, a piece of trash, not a piece of equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and say we're not gonna get the Cutlass Lutein. Definitely not off of these fucking hobs, that's for sure. Like, if we had the Moss Giant, we might have been able to do it. Utilize the, uh, the bow draw. <laughs> what was that noise, even? You'll be dead then. The weirdest noise I ever heard in this game, bro. You'll be dead then. You'll be dead then. That's honestly one of my favorite little, like, random trader quotes. You fucking kill somebody. <laughs> well, he'll be dead then. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's what happens when you kill people. They will be dead then. I do like that, like... He's made some of the chests give you, like, multiple items. So, like, instead of just getting, like, a single health potion, be like, oh, here's a couple health potions. Like, oh, yeah, that's actually helpful. Like, the chests that had one health potion always felt extremely arbitrary. Like, oh, geez, thanks for the fucking one health potion that I'm probably going to use, like, immediately. Oh, that's right. This is here. Yes. I thought that the major was a lady! On the bright side, I'm pretty sure we should have, like, a decently fat stack of cash. Not cash, but experience. We already have a fat stack of cash. We did that one already. Well, I wonder if this silver key is still here, actually. It appears that all of the hobs are much more powerful. Or at least tougher. I don't know about more powerful. He's gonna kill him for sure. Wow, he was actually able to resist replacing that silver key with something else. Surprised it didn't spit out a fucking health potion. Also, I just realized I never bought a bow. I was going to do that. Still no repeaters, though, huh? Buy maximum five? Why, though? I, I still, I can't seem to figure out why we would need to be able to do that. It's a cool thing either way, I guess. But, like, honestly, seriously, why? Why? Why do we need to be able to buy multiples of weapons? Honestly, why? Holy crap, there's guards here now? <clears throat> Sweet, an adrenaline potion. All right. I wish you could just, like, reject fucking loot sometimes, bro. <laughs> I, eh, I don't really want that. Oh, well. I just realized how much money I spent on that. That was, like, 15 grand for a flame augmentation. What? Shields, armor, we go it. See, I don't know, so far the game doesn't seem, like, too extraordinarily different, other than, like, some loot being changed and, like, some the items that have been added, obviously. As far as difficulty goes, this is, like, maybe slightly more difficult than Heroic, I guess. Ooh, another jet. I thought the only lonely face was on the moon. 
Valvrine's already- Oh my god, 21 damage is not it, Chief. It's just not it. I'm not fighting these guys 21 damage at a time. I'm just fucking not. These guys, like, knock down so I can, like, stab them or something. This guy did not just block my flourish, though. What the fuck even was that? Oh, here we go. Come on, hit him with the fucking thing. Oh my god, bro. Fuck this game, dude. I'm out. It's like the whole, like, the stabbing trick is cool and all. If and when it fucking works. But, like... It's just like, you're usually fucked out of being able to use it. That's the problem. You've got it! Silver key? Oh my god, yep, silver key. Oh my god, bro, chill. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die out here. I think we just got another flame augment, if I understand correctly. Pretty hard to see what's going on here, but... Not really sure who that's gonna be good against, but... At least it's something, right? I think sharpening is pretty much the way to go, because it just like... It makes your weapon better against everybody. Can't really go wrong there. I thought I wasn't going to kill these, but now I'm killing these. Okay, here we go. Fucking bitch, dude. Oh my god. There's always too much shit in the way for you to be able to actually, like, stab something. I just realized the guards are helping me now. That's pretty slick. Absolutely cancerous. They made the Balverines too hard. 100%. Bro, I get 100 experience for killing one of those. They're not even worth killing. They're 100% not worth killing at this point. I mean, who knows? Maybe you get the silver augmentation and all of a sudden they're worth killing. But, like, oh, they are so currently not worth killing at all. Yeah, after learning how much experience I get, I'm never killing another fucking Balverine in my entire life. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. And the Nymphs have more health, too. I don't know why he decided it was a good idea to give more health to the Nymphs, because, like, they're already pretty fucking annoying. They really, truly are. Like, the Nymph would be the very last creature that I'd be like, you know what, this thing needs a buff. Like, no, are you fucking actually crazy? Like, why? 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 I just realized the wedding ring was $3,000. Somehow that didn't quite occur to me until now. I was, like, looking at the gems, and I was like... Kind of sitting there thinking about how, like, the gemstones have, like, gone down in price or something because of the mod. And then it occurred to me that, like, wait a minute, that wedding ring was a $3,000 wedding ring. Holy shit. All right, here we go. We made it to Oakvale. It only took me, like, 30 minutes. I never watched this cutscene. Let's do it. He has his, like, uh, Vietnam War flashbacks here. Oh, wait, no, Rosie's the teddy bear. I keep wanting to call her Rosie. I remember you. We thought you died in that awful bandit raid all those years ago. So where have you been all this time? Look <laughs> at this PTSD right now. <laughs> you remember me, don't you? I was looking for Rosie, my teddy bear, just before the raid. My parents moved to Bowerstone. They moved to Bowerstone, huh? I was almost pretty sure that everybody fucking died in that raid, but, you know, somehow you guys are lucky. Yeah, no, it's cool. I was just having myself a Vietnam War flashback. Nothing big. Oh, are you all right? Like, fuck no, I'm not all right, dude. I just had the craziest PTSD right now. Let's see, how much are the emeralds worth? Yeah, not worth much. But the wedding ring. Somehow the wedding rings became the new meta. Let's make lots of money. You got the dick. I got the balls. Let's make lots of money. Give me some guile experience anyway, right? Why not? While we're at it. Such an impossibly large amount of money that I don't need for fucking anything. I'm sure I've got enough apples to run the joint, you know? I kind of feel like you should be able to get into Twinblade early. Although I don't really want to break the game, because that does actually kind of break the game a little bit. Yeah, we're going to try that real quick. There's literally one quest that it'll ruin. I don't even think it'll ruin any quests unless you decide to teleport straight to Twinblade's camp instead of actually doing it right, so... I think even if we discover Twinblade's camp early, we should be fine. Because you can do it with the summon and assassin rush, rush, the assassin rush glitch. I don't really see why you shouldn't be able to just kind of climb right beyond this, you know? <laughs> Absolutely too easy. Although I do think you have to assassin rush into the other things, so I don't really know how that's going to work out. You'll need to sneak past the bandits, except for I'm gonna do the exact opposite. That's gonna be the best part, though. It's gonna be, instead of sneaking past the bandits, I'm just gonna run past the bandits and just climb right on over. And this way, like, I can actually, like, kind of look around and make sure I'm getting everything, right? Like, just in case there's some, like, hidden secrets here, which I don't really think there is. I think it's just, like, that, like, age of the skill. Yeah. Yeah, interestingly, it's like the resurrection files don't really seem to be sold in stores anymore. I haven't quite checked yet to see if you can still, like, sell them. But, like, I kind of don't really see why not. There it is. Took a little bit of funny work, but we did it. 
Oh man, I hope I don't have to teleport out of here. Yeah, these guys do not like me. The real question is, can I get into here? We've got a blockade. This invisible wall has to end somewhere. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? This is not quite what I thought it was about to be. Hmm. Come on. Right here? Hmm. Very interesting. There's gotta be a way to get on top of this little, like, wall here, though, right? Ooh, boy, we're doing it. It's like the craziest pathway I would have ever thought of taking, but... Oh, no. But we're stuck already. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Looks like we can't quite... Oh, whoop, 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 whoop! We pulled the juke move there at the last minute, didn't we? Impressive. Why does it look like there's supposed to be a traitor here? Oof. Well, I don't know, man. It's like they get you here because it'll be like a baby toe step above like what you can normally climb. And it's like, sorry, mate, you stuck. Nothing you can do about it, mate. Actually, it's a good thing I have like the guild seal at this point because like I can't actually get stuck on terrain anymore. I mean, I can get stuck on the terrain, but now I can just teleport out of it if I do, right? All right. I have some decent experience from that. If we undo this level up. Bye. This one. And we go back to this and undo the level up. And that should bring us back to zero. Yeah, I don't know if that was the move. I kind of... Oh, and then, yeah, then you undo... Okay, yeah, it all makes sense now. Then you undo this one. Okay. Oh, we can buy both of these, actually. Cool. Either way, we got way more levels out of that than we should have been able to get out of that. So that's kind of cool. And we are officially out of experience. Oh, well. I think that's probably a good place. Last but not least, I want to... See if I can't pop into uh, Bowerstone North real quick. Let's see how quickly and easily I can knock this uh, glitch out of the park. Oh, you can have your weapons out here now. I just realized that. Oh, that that's going to be fun. I'm going to try holding it too, just so I can like make sure I actually kill the dude. Actually, you know what? You could just decapo. There it is. We should be able to just walk right in now. Sweet. Bro, there's a new Bowerstone North early glitch. Oh my god, these guys start off as some guards, bro. Looks like a nice bloke to me. Until I sleep in your bed, then you fucking hate me. Damn, that escalated quickly. I thought I was a nice bloke. What happened? Alright, can you guys literally all fucking move? Holy shit, bro. Why is there a fucking party going on behind the goddamn counter? Will it let me sell the thing that I want to sell? Is there a fucking life? It totally does, bro. It totally does. Watch him not sell them back to me, bro. I swear to fucking God. That would really be some shit, though. Let's see how well those things actually work. I'm, I, I don't think he actually removed the health cap, but I know he made it, like, a lot bigger. So we'll have to see exactly how much bigger. Oh, God fucking damn it, bro. Why... Why can't I just see my fucking goddamn stupid fuck-ass shit, bro? I really hate it so much, bro. Oh, wait. That seems to be the end. Well, that's all those. Okay. Yeah, see what happens when you take my health elixir, bro? I go make my own, bro. Keep that in mind for next time. Speaking of next time, I think we probably did enough damage in this video, so we're probably going to save the rest of our shenanigans until, well, next time. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show the algorithm some love and hit that like button for me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my latest gaming content. Of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member and help support the channel monetarily. On that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to my active channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. It is definitely greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.